You better thank a union member. For the five-day work week, you better thank a union member for sick leave. You better thank a union member for paid leave. You better thank a union member for vacation time. <laughs> Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, buddy. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in, buckle in, and let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Well, it's Labor Day. It's the official last day of summer. Mm-hmm. So imagine one of your friends, your coworkers, uh, let's name him Dougie. Dougie invites you to a barbecue at his house. So you get your kids ready, you get your wife ready, you get your linen suit, and you're going out to Dougie's house for barbecue. Now, your wife and his wife are exchanging recipes, and you overhear them. I have a friend who had a Christmas party, Christmas Eve, every year. And she asked me to make the greens for a party every okay. year. And I am not lying to you that I would make so many greens that I'd need to wash them in the bathtub. <laughs> okay. I'm okay. telling you the truth. Yep, yep, you heard right. Yep, in the bathtub was a soap scum where people wash their ass, where people wash their feet with the menstrual cycles and all that. She's washing collard greens in the bathtub. Now, it all makes sense. I keep telling you, she's not black. She's Indian. Have you ever seen Indian cook street food before? <laughs> no thank you i just ate mm, 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 mm. unbelievable now you're telling me that she's black right every black person i know who cooks collard greens you use some type of smoked meats i use either ham hocks i use turkey necks turkey butts turkey wings a smoked type of meat she says she used bacon. So how do you make your greens? Do you put turkey in them? Do you bacon. Put nice. Mm. I do bacon. bacon. She's put garlic. Vinegar. I put white vinegar. Yes. I do. So I start with, I slice up my garlic. Uh -huh. But no, first I fry, chop up the, the, yeah, bacon, the bacon and get all that yeah. fat going. Then I put garlic, yeah. some chili peppers. Yes. And then a lot of water and yeah. so a little chicken stock, and I let it go for a while be before I put the greens in. And then, right, so you get that going and all that flavor. And then I put the greens in for a couple hours. Then I do vinegar, and then I cheat and do a little Tabasco. No, that's okay. Yeah, because ta but Tabasco of all, like I like Louisiana hot sauce, yeah. but Tabasco has that right amount of vinegar. Yeah. And I, that, so that's how I do my green. I see why you get invited uh -huh. every year. <laughs> what is that on there? Curry powder? 
Tamarick. Come on, man. Jesus Christ. You people going to fall for it. You people going to eat it up. Literally. You can go to her dinner table and eat her collard greens. No, thank you. I wonder how she makes Kool-Aid. With your feet? Your stinking ass. Oh, my God. Anyway, let's go to California, her home state. All right. The pro blackity blacks in California are up in arms that the government of California did not take a vote for the reparations. Speaking of the bring the bills up now, now, now. This, these are their bills. They have their names on the bills. They killing their own bills because they scared of the government. Now, listen, they gonna see this and they gonna get mad at us. They killing their own bills. Then, then, then they gonna get mad at us. They killing their own bills because they scared of the government. Okay? We don't care. We don't. We need to see bring the, the government to bills up the now, now, the now. To that now. the world is watching California and this is going to have a direct impact on your friend Kamala Harris who's running for president. This is going to have a direct impact. So pull up the bills now. Vote on them and sign them. We, we, we have We've the been votes. waiting for over 400 years. We want our reparations now. God damn. You folks are just hard-headed. You black folks. You FBAs. Tariq Nasheed, listen up. Come a little closer. Come on, come here. You're not getting no f***ing reparations. Golly. Got to get that through your thick skull. Especially for people from California. California was never a slave state. Your grandmother, your great-grandmother left Alabama, left Mississippi, left Georgia, and went west and set up shop. And now you believe that California owe you some money? Man, watch out, man. You're not getting none of it. Jesus Christ. They need that money to prop up the Venezuelan folks. Venezuela. Venezuela. Okay. You see what happened this past weekend? California passed a law that they could get up to $150,000 for housing. Well, Martha, the bill just passed the state Senate. Now it goes back to the assembly where Democrats have a supermajority and aides tell me it is likely to pass. The bill makes illegal migrants eligible for $150,000 to buy a new home. Lawmakers created the program so citizens and legal residents could afford to live here. But last week, Democrats changed the law to say this. An applicant who meets requirements for the loan assistance program shall not be disqualified solely based on the applicant's immigration status. Yeah, so they need that money to prop them up. Because I've been saying this from the beginning. They're here to replace you. Okay? So you got to make plans for your replacement. What? Now, if you don't believe me, here we have Al Sharpton and Kamala Harris talking about reparations. Reparations for descendants of Africans and slaves. If you elected president, would you sign that bill if it came across your desk? When I am elected president, I will sign that bill. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, no, you're not getting nothing. She said it before when she was on the panel with a black journalist. Let's be clear about that. Let's really be clear about that. So I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. You're not getting no reparations, folks. Get that through your thick skull. Okay? Man, they need that money for the Hispanics. If anybody who deserve some reparations are the Mexicans in California. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to talk about that, right? We even have Nancy Pelosi here on the Bill Maher show, and she went as far in saying, yes, we need these votes to keep us in power. California lawmakers just passed a law. It hasn't been signed by Governor Newsom, but
but giving um, government assistance to undocumented immigrants to buy houses. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a, a different place than uh, the Democratic Party used to be on immigration, is it not? I'm not going to say that's what the country's going to do, but that's certainly where California is. Well, I, let me just say, immigration had always been a bipartisan issue. I refer you to but the... But not free houses. Well, that's not free housing. It's, it's the American dream being available to more people, making the, uh, the American dream of home ownership available to all people is something we have to do for people before who are here now. Of, this is before, before you were a citizen. Hmm? This is undocumented. Hmm? This is for the undocumented. Well, what I would like to do is move them to documented. The fact that we can move them to documented. And one of the best things that we can do for our economy is to pass comprehensive immigration reform. There you go, guys. Your vote don't matter anymore. They got more of them than you. Okay? So you're going to be pushed aside, far to the side. You got more immigrants from Africa coming in to replace you, FBAs. Your numbers are getting smaller and smaller while you got the Caribbean folks coming in, the African folks coming in, the dark-skinned uh, Mexicans coming in to replace you. So the FBA number can get smaller and smaller. But keep voting Democrat. Keep voting the Democrat and see what happens. Anyway, that's my thought for the day. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and... Tell Kamala I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you knuckleheads, get your ass off my lawn. <laughs>